Hey fiance, take a seat. If you're in the midst of wedding planning and trying to figure out how to design your wedding website, well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I want to talk to you about Joy, which, spoiler alert, is my favorite wedding planning platform, especially when it comes to wedding website design. But before I get too ahead of myself, I want to tell you why I care about any of this. First thing is that I'm getting married this year in just about four months, which is so freaking exciting. And professionally, I'm a digital product designer, which means I design websites and digital experiences for a living. When it came to wedding planning, one of the first things that I wanted to do was design our wedding website. Not only because it's what I do and I think it's fun, but because it's a critical place wedding guests go to learn about the details to your wedding. That led me down this path of researching all of the potential wedding website options I could choose from, which has since led me to create a whole video series around designing wedding websites on all of them. But today's video is about Joy, and I'm excited to show you the behind the scenes for how we design our wedding website with them. If you're interested in checking out the other videos in this series, I will include a link up here and in the description below. But first, let's talk a little bit about Joy. I recently learned the story of how Joy was created, and I really like it. One of the founders' sisters was getting married, and she was struggling to find a wedding website that offered her the personalization she was looking for with the attention to detail. Sounds like me too. He helped her by building her a custom website to fit her needs, which was a huge success because her friends all started asking for help with their wedding websites as well. Soon after, Joy was officially founded. I especially resonate with this story because I was looking for a wedding website that paid attention to detail in the same way that I usually pay attention to detail with my design projects. And for the most part, I think that Joy does a good job at this. For the rest of this video, I want to walk you through the behind the scenes to how I would design a wedding website using Joy. But because I am getting married, this year and I don't want all the details to our wedding out in the open, I will be walking you through designing an example site. And you will see very soon that Joy makes this all very easy since they provide a lot of sample content. Okay, let's jump onto the computer now and I'll show you Joy. With all the videos in this series, I first want to give you a little bit of context into where my mind was at when I was thinking about designing my wedding website so you can understand how I made the design decisions as it relates to designing the wedding website. Back when we first got engaged and we had just made our guest list and we had just selected our venue and I wanted to make the website, we didn't have a lot of other details contextually as related to our wedding. Didn't quite know what the wedding colors were or the vibe would be for like how we were going to design the experience. So because of that, what I wanted to do with our website was to try to create more of like a blank slate, something that was simple, something more timeless. We had at that point, we had a lot of great photos of us as a couple and uh, especially with our engagement photo shoot. So I really wanted the website to be more simple and let the photography kind of speak to our love story and our relationship. Knowing later on, there was gonna be a lot more decisions that would have been made to help me understand sort of, again, like the design of the wedding we were going to be creating. So that all to say, in this walkthrough, I'm going to walk you through how I designed a wedding website on Joy with that in mind. All right, let's do this. All right, hi, we're on the computer now. I already made a Joy account, so I won't be able to walk you through the exact onboarding for this example, but from what I remember, what happens is they land you on designing your wedding website from the very beginning. So what you're gonna do is if you find yourself on this view, it's kind of like the admin view, you're gonna go over here to edit design. So I'm gonna walk you through this step first. Okay, here we are on the edit design page. I really love this view. I like that they really emphasize your wedding website on the right. And then there's the tools on the left that allow you to customize it. So I think in the onboarding, it had me select what our wedding date was, the location, and I may have added a photo. So that's what you're seeing here that I didn't show you already. You'll see the date, the location, and then we have a photo here. So like I was saying earlier, where I was at when I was thinking about designing our wedding website from the beginning was I didn't have a lot of details. So I just wanted something that was simple. And so what I really like about Joy is that they let you actually have just like this blank option, which is to say that you just, it's just like, you don't have to have any decoration if you don't want. What's interesting about wedding websites is that they offer you a lot of these templates and a lot of them are really decorative. Like you can see Joy has a lot of really decorative designs here. Like this one, for example, it's called Evergreen Dark. I'm going to select it. You'll see it'll shift the design of the website here in this panel on the right. I didn't feel like at least where I was at with designing our wedding website that I had 
any understanding of like how this could fit into the overall vision of our wedding. I just really liked that they made it simple. You could use like a blank non-decorative template. So this is actually the one that I'm gonna go with, but I will show you what some of these look like. I just showed you the evergreen dark. You could also do, um, you could also use the filter here and sort by different types of categories. There's art deco, destination, floral, just as some examples. I'll click the rustic one. There's three options here just to show you like what those kind of look like. Pretty easy. I am going to stick with this blank template because that's the sort of vibe that we're going for. Going up from the bottom, they also let you select an accent color. So the accent color is essentially what the link color will be on your website. So if you're familiar with web design, you know that the link color needs to be consistent across the whole website. So they let you select what this is, which can change the sort of mood and the vibe of your website. A lot of links on the internet are blue, so blue could be a good default, but you could go with another option. And I just think that's like a really nice subtle way, a, a detail that Joy lets you select that I really appreciate. For this example, I am gonna just select a, like a shade of blue because it is pretty standard on the web. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of use that for an example. You can also see I have this tool open right here and you can see that you can you can also uh, use a couple other controls here. So you'll see that there's a light and dark switch. So if I toggle that on and off, you'll see that the text inside will change. So with a color like this, that black font color is going to be, I think a little bit too dark. So I would actually choose light. I'm gonna make the button a little bit brighter. I think that's a good color, kind of reminds me of my nails. And we're gonna go with that. So I'm gonna apply the changes. You'll see at the top right, so that I can make sure that it's applied and saved on the website. That actually brings me to the next tool up here, which is called Layout, which is also pretty cool. I think that Joy allows you to have two different types of layouts. And I'm gonna scroll down so you can see the accent color in action. But how this layout works is that you'll have images on the left and then your content will be on the right. So the scroll is actually happening here over here in the preview. So you'll scroll down and you'll see that there's actually a lot of sample copy in here. I did not write any of this. I did not insert any of this. This is also something I really loved about Joy is that the, def the default template, I guess, of the, their wedding website includes all of this content that's just placeholder, but it's real copy. And so as someone who's never written wedding website copy before, it was really helpful to read because it helped inspire me to write my content. And I also just reused some of it as well. So I thought that was a really smart way for them to help educate people new brides like myself on how to write some of this stuff and also giving you a wedding website that's not completely blank, like a completely blank slate, which can be kind of intimidating. So I'm gonna scroll down here. You'll see that uh, we'll kind of get into this a little bit more that these sections, but you'll start to see some of these links. So they're that blue color and that's the blue shade that I selected in the accent color. So that's pretty cool. And then just as far as layout goes, I actually really liked this layout. I thought it was unique, a little bit different. I didn't see a lot of wedding websites like this. And so I actually thought that this worked really well. And this is the wedding website layout with Joy that we ended up going with. I will show you what the other one looks like. The multi-page layout does remind me a lot more of what the standard wedding website platforms provide. So like The Knot and Zola, their wedding website templates look a lot more like this layout which is multi-page. So you'll see here, there's the homepage, RSVP, story schedule, and the page doesn't go down very far, right? It's just like, I think it's pretty standard. So this look could also work really well for you if you are looking for something that's more standard like this. And then you'll see here too, the button color, it's our accent color. So again, I just think that's a really cool moment that you get to design and select with joy. I do wanna show you what the templates look like when it's not blank. I'll just use our evergreen template to show you what that looks like. I'm gonna select it. So you'll see right now that the background on the edges is that template. So it's gonna look a lot different than that single page layout. And then I think what, what you can do is if you go into the accent color and use our default background, if you unselect that, you can also see that there's another option for changing how the template works. So I think that's also pretty cool, just like another way for you to customize it. And then actually, if you select in this dropdown, you might see that there's other options for customizations as well. You'll see that the default is blank right now. So I'm gonna scroll down here, you'll see, I'm gonna just select one of these flowers. Like, let's, let's say this one, it's very pretty. Uh, you'll see that it added a little illustrative moment here between the photo and the date. I think that's really pretty. I just think it's cool that you can customize that. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go back and select blank because that is kind of the name of the game for this wedding website, but I think it's really cool that you can customize those different moments. 
I'm back here in the blank option. There's one more thing I want to show you. You can also select from this drop down here and you can see that you can have a border or no border. I also really like that. I think that the border is unnecessary with the blank view, kind of bordering in nothing really because there's no distinction there. So I think with a blank wedding website like this on the multi-page layout, I would unselect border like that. It just looks a lot cleaner. And you will notice that you can also unselect the border for the other templates as well, but you will notice that, especially with the darker options, it's a lot harsher of a contrast, and that's just kind of how their template works. So I'm gonna go back here and select the blank one, and then we are going to actually go back and select our single page layout, because that's the layout that I selected for our wedding website. The next thing I'll talk about is fonts. So if you go up here to the top, you'll be able to toggle to the font options, and I really like Joy's font selections, especially for someone who's not as familiar with typography. And I say that because I think that they've selected a lot of good typefaces that go really well together. You will see that I think there are also some typography options that don't work very well for a lot of the same reasons that I described in my last two videos. It often has to do with that decorative typeface that I think just doesn't work very well on a website where it's showing up a lot and with these templates it's like it kind of just defaults to being the header text for a lot of places where a decorative font does a lot better in smaller amounts. And so just as an example, I don't think this one works works very well. Certainly doesn't work well for, for me or for our wedding website. You can see here the de decorative font is showing up here on the image, which I think potentially does work well, and it is very pretty and illustrative. But you see here on the right, it's getting hard to read, and that is my issue with these decorative typefaces, especially with the capitals next to each other like that. Ugh, just like you can't read that. It looks bad and it doesn't work. And then you'll start to see if you scroll down, like this story works, like if it shows up in small moments, it's okay, but I think when it's used a lot, it doesn't work very well. All in all, I think that Joy does a really good job with creating typography options for you, um, but you're gonna still run into some of those challenges, I think. So just something to think about when you're selecting your typography for your website. The typeface combination that I liked really well that I'm going to select for this website is this one, the Calistoga, so I'm gonna select that. I really like that there's a really nice serif typeface for the for the titles. I think it's really pretty. It's a little bit more formal. I think this ampersand is also really pretty. But then the body copy is sans serif, so it doesn't have serifs on the tips of the characters. And so I like that combination together and I think it works really well. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is this third toggle here at the top, which is CSS. Now, I did not change any of the CSS for our wedding website. I know a little bit of HTML and CSS, but not enough where I would want to actually um, change anything with the back end of, of this template. And I was also very happy with what I was given for the options, but I think it's really cool that they offer this. And so if you are someone who's a little bit more technically savvy and you want even more control over the the design of your website, Joy does let give you that option, and I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna go back to the themes for just to show you the very, very last thing on this page, which is this, these options here at the top. These are the different screen sizes, and I also really like that. So it allows you to preview what your design choices will look like, both on the desktop option and on the mobile option. So you'll see if I select the mobile phone, you can see what the typography, for example, will show up and look like on, on mobile and I really like that. And this is what it looks like for the multi-page layout. You'll see there, and then you have this menu at the top. Going back to select single page layout, and then you can also see, you can preview stationary. So this is not necessarily related to the website, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but Joy, just like the other wedding websites, do offer some printed elements, and they also offer digital save the dates and invites as well. So we're gonna go back out to this view, and I'm going to walk you through how you edit the content of the website. So we just talked about the design elements. That was layout, color, typography. Content is all the content that's gonna show up on the pages of your wedding website. So, and also just like the other wedding websites, Joy offers a lot of other tools to help you plan your wedding, which is great. So I, for this demo, I'm not gonna walk you through some of those tools. So that's like the guest list, RSVP, registry, schedule, like all that kind of stuff. But I am gonna walk you through how to curate the content for the different pages for your wedding website. So here we are, here we are back on the admin page. You can also see here on the top right, you can toggle and preview your website, uh, which again, I think is really nice to constantly be able to see what your wedding website will look like to your guests. And then also you can toggle between the website uh, desktop view and the mobile view again, which 
think is pretty cool. How you edit the content uh, will be in a couple places, but for the most part, it's going to be under this edit pages drop down. For both the home page and the video page, there's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to come back to that later. But for this first part of the preview, I'm gonna walk you through an example. Click on the story page. Like I was saying earlier, something I really love about Joy is that they provide you with a lot of placeholder copy. So nothing that you're gonna see here content-wise outside of the photos is actually just placeholder copy that Joy provides. And they give you a lot of like tips and trick, like tips and advice on how to create this content. Again, I think that's super cool. How this works is that you can preview again, both the desktop or the mobile while you're editing. So I'm gonna actually toggle back to the website and the story, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see here's the story section. So if I were to go in here and I don't know, just I'm gonna copy this. If I go in here and I just delete it and say, hello, you can see on the right, it updated live, which is really cool. I love Joy, I think it's just so cool. I'm gonna delete that and put back the old story. We'll save that out. But then you can see basically how this works. So that's the couple story. There's also this tidbit section, which is more like Q and A. And they provide you with these sample questions with sample examples of how to answer the questions. And you can actually just go in here, you could delete questions, you could reorder them. And then if you go down here to the bottom, you can see this plus button, you can actually add a new question. And so again, they provide you with an example here, but you can just type in whatever question you have and add it. And then it would add to the very bottom uh, like so. And then you would just type in your answer. So I think that that's really fun also. But essentially all of the pages, if I scroll back to the home page here, all of these pages have a similar sort of layout. So you'll select that the one that you wanna do, let's say it's a wedding party. You'll see there's already a bunch of placeholder copies. You can see what that kinda looks like. Actually, this is so random, but I have to call it out. Uh, someone posted this photo of this girl in the red turtleneck, and I think it's like one of the most popular photos that designers use for placeholder things. It's so funny that I'm seeing her here. It's like, yeah, I guess that's a thing. Anyway, what you would do here is if you wanted to start updating and adding these people as you would select into it, and then you would just start filling out the details. First name, last name, their title. Um, I think the, e I don't know what the email does exactly, but it probably connects to their profile on the guest list. And then you can write a little story about them, about how you met, whatever you'd like. Oh, and then you would update their photo by selecting here and dropping the photo in. And then when you're done, you would just save that out. I'm gonna cancel for now, but again, super, they make it super easy. And then also, of course, if you wanna add more people to your wedding party, you can just select the add button here. And it's the same thing, it's just like, it's just a blank one. I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna go back. And yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna show you for the standard pages. Joy makes this super easy, like I said, they've got all that placeholder copy and they really walk you through it. Uh, the ones that are a little bit more unique are the video and the homepage, so let's talk about that. For example, video, and we actually used a video. Uh, our engagement was captured on video, which was really special, and so I actually uploaded a clip from that moment to YouTube, and then I made that YouTube video private, or unlisted, I guess, and then I linked it on our wedding website. So you can do that just by entering the URL here. And then when you do that, the video will, sh the video will show up at the very top of your wedding website for guests to watch uh, when they come to your website. So I thought that was really cool, something that was like, really special for us to be able to share with our wedding guests. And then if you select the home page, you're actually brought to the settings. And here's where you can customize some of the more personal information. So you can uh, select your wedding website URL. This one is with joy.com backslash Alexa is marrying Mike. Again, this is just an example site, so this is not our actual URL, but they make it really easy. And I think because there are a lot less people on Joy, you can select a pretty like easy to remember URL handle, which I think is nice. And then you can put in your partner's uh, first name, last name here, which will also show up in different places on the website. You can also have an announcement banner here, so you can either toggle this on or off. And then you can ha uh, edit the message here. Just as this one's example, if you were to toggle this on, the announcement banner would show up at the very top of the website and it would say, we are so excited to have you. Please RSVP by, you would insert the date. We'll be adding updates soon to our schedule, FAQs, registry, and photos. You could also select to have the event countdown toggled on or off. So you can do that here. I really like the countdown and I think it works well on the Joy website. So I definitely kept this toggled on. And it looks like you can also select the page that it shows up. 
which is really nice also. It's very customizable, I think it's great. Uh, similar with event info, you can toggle that on and off, you can update your date here and the location, and even select the time zone. And then the other thing that I think is really cool about Joy is that they have an app, and the app is also really great and easy to use. So you could encourage your guests to download the app, so they have all of the wedding information for them easily just on their phone so that they don't have to go and like search for the wedding website like when they're out about actually like you know closer to the wedding time. You can either have the option to download the app or not by toggling it on and off. The other thing I really like about the app is that there is a way for guests to easily upload photos and videos to the app and then you have a curated collection of those photos. So I think, I think that's really cool. I think there'll be a little bit of like communication that I'll need to do with our guests to like educate them about that. But I just think, again, that's like a really cool like detail that they've designed into their wedding website platform. Uh, up here at the top, you'll see there's also options here. There's menu, security, and privacy, and admins. I'll talk about the menu one next. Here is where you can actually reorder your pages. And so over here we can see the dots. You can move them up and down. So this will reorder the pages for the single page layout. It'll look like the order in which they show up on that right side panel. And on the multi-page layout, it'll be the tabs, the order of the tabs. And then security and privacy is pretty self-explanatory. That's like your password and your email. But I am gonna talk about the admin view because this is where you can go to actually add your partner's information, their name and their email, so that they, that they can log in and actually edit the website as well. And I'm actually not sure if Joy or The Knot do this. My gut instinct says that they probably do. I just never found it. Joy just makes it really simple and easy right here in the settings. I'm not gonna show you because it does have my private email on there, but just know that that's where you would go to update and edit that. And I think that's actually gonna wrap up the demo for today. Again, I just wanted to show you the behind the scenes for how you could design your wedding website using Joy. The tool does so many other things really well. And once you get in there and start messing around with it, I think it's pretty obvious and they really guide you through that process. So I hope today's video was really helpful for you if you're in the midst of designing your wedding website. As a reminder, I'm making a series of videos right now for to help show you the behind the scenes for how I would design a wedding website using all of these various platforms. Of course we went with Joy and I really like it but you might find that one of the other wedding websites like The Knot or Zola or even Squarespace or some of the other options are a better fit for you and I totally encourage you to give it a shot. Ultimately I just want to share my experience and I love showing you the behind the scenes just to give you a better sense of what could be best for you and only you know that. So if you have any questions or comments or thoughts or want to chat, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Love talking about design and wedding stuff. I'm actually probably going to make a couple more videos as it relates to designing your wedding since I am a designer and I'm getting married. So if you have any questions as it relates to things outside of your wedding website that you want to design, also leave me a comment because I'm collecting ideas right now to come up with more videos to create. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alexa. I make videos here regularly on YouTube about design, careers in tech, what it's like living and working remotely out of San Diego, California, where I live with my family. So if you're into any of those things, I would love for you to be a subscriber. And if you're still here at the very end and you did enjoy this video, I would love for it if you could give it a like. It helps me understand if this kind of video is useful and that you enjoy it. That's gonna wrap up things for now though, but I hope to see you in that next video. Bye for now.